character. And if we have that, if we have that, we have a great inheritance. So he left a true inheritance. And the inheritance Kenneth Bush left was hope. That his family would stay in touch and that they would continue to be reconciled with one another. Amen. And this inheritance is passed down to, from what I can understand, Tim. So he's going to, you're going to have to carry it out, brother. Because he already started it and he put it through you. Because you remember it and you know it. Don't let them down. Amen. 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 That's a rich lettuce. And only a true man can do that. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Lord, we thank you. We just give you praise. Lord, we thank you for Joseph. How he gave his family hope. Lord, not just give his family hope. Even after what they did to him, he gave his family life. And we thank you for Brother Kenneth Bush. How he thought in that robbery to pack his family up and take his family across this land of ours. <clears throat> How he took his family, Lord, just to visit, just to see things that other children didn't have the opportunity to see, but his did. So we thank you for this inheritance of hope and this inheritance of faith that you have poured upon him and how he poured it out to his family. And we just call this man blessed, Lord. We call his family blessed because they were able to walk with him for this season in his life. And as they walk with him with this season, Lord, and as Kenneth is still traveling, Father, on the highways and byways of life, even in death, we thank you and we just give you the praise for this day and for everything that he means to everyone in this room. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.